Hello, YouTube Wise. Fifi here coming at you today with my FIFA 17 squad a day. And this is the first one of a new upload schedule. Although this is up on Saturday, and this is going to encompass the squads from Monday, Tuesday, or no, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So the first one on the screen is a nice 4 3 3 number two with that man Yaya Tori. And it was inspired by Valentine's Day, which would have been the corresponding day in February. So there's some players on there. I got the Yaya Tori in there. And my family is Greek, so my grandma, my mom's side is Yaya. And then we have Dennis Suarez up in the left because the grandma on my dad's side's maiden name is Suarez. And there's a couple sleepers in there. With One of them is my girlfriend's name on somewhere in there and send my mom's as well. So just had to get all the ladies in my life some attention. But look at that goal from Yaya Tori. And that is going to kickstart this episode because he is a beast. I know we got scored on first, but let's not cover that. But we're going to focus on Yaya Tori and then our boys going in here. We look at the lag. We got some lag trouble there. This first game was a little rough, but we pick up the rebound and everybody loves when lag goes your way, but when it doesn't go your way, it is the worst thing in the world, but you're going to see a couple more really solid strikes from Yaya Torre. I think this one's another one. Look at that right into the corner, and I got to pick him up again. Of course, with these squads, I always pick up them. I build them, pick them up, and then sell them for profit. I've made a bunch of coins actually just buying these squads and selling them. And so I guess a little FIFA trading tip would be go ahead and just keep building the squads you want, but make sure you do a little research. Always do a little research before you buy a player, but go ahead, pick up the lowest rated buy now. If you've done a research and you've seen the price range that you feel comfortable with, if you see one in there, snipe up the lowest buy now. You can look at the 59th minute. That's usually the best, you know, in that compare prices feature, but go ahead and snipe them and then sell them on overnight uh, while you're sleeping. There won't be a lot of cards on the market. And so Regardless if you're in the United States or Europe, that's a good time to sell because your guy won't have as many cards to compete against and therefore no one's really going to undercut you as much as before. But that is going to bring a close to the Valentine's Day episode that was Tuesday and so now we are getting into Wednesday and then so for this week, this is coming up on Saturday, but the Friday, Saturday and Sunday will be up in a video tomorrow and then that will start my regular upload. This was corresponded to Wednesday and it was a team of the week special and so this is what I always do is to pick three cards from the team of the week that corresponded with that week and so I believe this was number 22 so we have that second inform Alejandro Gomez the inform um the, uh, the inform Kane and then the inform Berg. I brought in the purple Totti and the inform De Rossi just to have better players in the squad but I should have just left. I usually am not going to put in another inform besides the one that I get. Uh, Hero cards, team of the seasons are different, but I should not have included that to Rossi, guys. So forgive me for that. But we have the King of Rome. And as you can see, it's coming down to stoppage time. And we get a cheese goal. And what a finish from the King of Rome himself. And I that was a quick game, quick little highlight. So I'm going to give you guys another uh, game. And... Uh, we start off this game pretty strong. Again, look at this from Totti. Beautiful little quick moves. He's been a great player. I also loved Alejandro Gomez. He's in the team of the season for the Serie A out right now. Marcus Berg, I really didn't see him much in this. And I usually like to play with Berg's informed. I, and I was, he's got a man of the match. But as you can see, AIDS right there. I would have put in the Rick thing, but that file got a little corrupted on me. And we get some more AIDS. And they just piled it on. We're down 3-1. But... Let's see if we have anything to say about it. And of course, he gets another goal. I was pushing really hard. And what was that? Four unanswered goals. Ugh. But look at that strike from Totti. Just as a little bit of redemption, of course. We're going to probably take the L in this game. But I just wanted to get that last one in there. I don't know why I was playing the violin. I'm the one that got exposed that game. But... We're moving along as well, and we're going to be coming into the last episode. Make sure you guys let me, or last squad of the episode, and here we go. We have a, and this is a new thing. I'm really excited. It's my throwback Thursdays. This was inspired by the fact that we used to go to a club on Wednesday night and into Thursday morning because in Milan or in Europe in general, they don't go out until really late, and it was called Old Fashioned, and that brought me back to the legends and their older players, and so I got to get them in, and th Thursday is a throwback day now. So we got Thursday throwbacks coming at you. Every Thursday squad will have a legend that's going to try to correspond with where I am where I was at in the world or whatnot. Just some favorite players of mine as well. And Zola starting it off because he is my favorite legend. And that's why we are in the Chelsea kit. That Cavani card, by the way, that 91 is a beast. I didn't necessarily have enough coins for his team in the season. But you can pick up that 91 for 100 
and I think 30k, and that card is definitely worth the coins. I've seen a couple of people on uh, Twitter, such as like the Foot Economist, maybe I think Nepenthes, and a couple other people talk about how good he is, and he is definitely a solid player, so do not sleep on him, as you're going to see some clips here, and then watch, oh, what a little toe poke. If the reaction time from him is really helpful, because that's what I find helpful in a striker, but let me know in the comment section below your favorite striker to use or what you look for in your style of play in your attackers. I'm really interested in also... If you want to have a little debate about informs versus non-informs, let me know if you think they're worth it this year or not. Because in some FIFAs, like FIFA 12, FIFA 13, they were definitely worth it. But then in FIFA 14 and 15, you couldn't really feel a difference. And so this year with them releasing more transparency about card stats and whatnot, it is... A good, it'd be a good gauge to see what you guys are feeling. And there we go. Zola is going to cap off the episode with a great finish. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you think actually of this new upload schedule. Remember, tomorrow I'm going to have an episode that's going to be a Sunday upload that's going to have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday squad of the day. And then you're not going to get an episode until Thursday. And then from there on out, it's going to be Thursday and Sunday uploads. If you have any questions or advice, please feel throw it in the comments or follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I try to plug myself as much as possible, you know right? But it's coming to a close. Most importantly, stay wise.